Hello everybody, this is From Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodmo. This is Christopher Draves. What's going on? You're, um, Matt, this is Matt Weiss? Weiss? It's Weiss. Weiss? Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Weiss? We're, we're, we're. He's related to Goldberg. <laughs> yeah, we, we talked about this last time. <laughs> Alright, anyways, uh, yeah, uh, we got ourselves... Wait, what are you doing? I'm good. We, we, we got ourselves a nice show coming for you guys. We got actually two... Um, so, uh, stay tuned to our page tonight. But our first sh- off, uh, go to Hockey Locker. Yes. Yeah, the lovely Hockey Locker. You yeah, see where the hockey sticks play. They have all your <laughs> hockey let me, gear, let me all your referee right. gear. You can get your ice skate sharpened. You can get retro NHL jerseys. You can get jersey customizations. Uh, you can get Admiral hoodies. You can get Predator hoodies. Uh, yeah, you can get all your hockey needs, all your referee stuff, like I said. You can visit them at HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com or... You can go to them at uh, 414-800-7585. Or you could call them. You could go to them well, at... You can go I, them pointed at, at I pointed at him because... You could go to speak. them at 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, right across the street from Wilson Park. Yes. See, I was going like that, and he didn't... Also, you can pick up this nice Predators hat and this nice Hockey Locker shirt. Yeah. yeah. Can't go wrong. All right. So today the Nashville Predators played the uh, Stockton Flames. Heat. The Stockton Heat. Uh, the, the Atlanta only, Flames. Hey, the only thing. The Atlanta uh, Flames. The only thing that really caught my eye about this game is the Predators were one for one in the power play. When was the last time that happened? <laughs> it's very rare because usually they go like over. No, for uh, the Northern Lights in town, maybe Aurora Borealis. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> No, they weren't centrally located in my kitchen, but yeah. Steve <laughs> Hams. All right, anyways, uh, yeah, um, there's really nothing there. I mean, we had 25 block shots compared to their 16. I mean, no stats really jump out at me. Shots were pretty much even face-offs. Yeah, they, had much, a, eh. they had a 4. 4% advantage. Lots of blocks, though. Yeah, 25-16 in blocks in favor of Predators. Pretty it did look like they weared them out towards the end of the game. It was totally warm out, yeah. Um, so scoring in the first period, uh, 33 seconds in was uh, Sam Bennett with his fifth with an assist from Travis Hamannick, his ninth, and TJ Brody his 14th. Then we have Dante Fabro scoring hey. his fifth with an assist from Rowan Yossi, his 38th, and Mikel Granlund his ninth. Nice. Then Kyle Turris scored his seventh with an assist from Eckholm, his 24th, and Forsberg, his 20th. And then Grantling got his 12th goal, third game in a row with a goal. Power play, too. And on the power play with an assist from Yossi, his 39th, and Turris, his 17th. Uh, Yossi registered his 400th career Beautiful. NHL point tonight. Yeah, great. Congrats. All right. Uh, beyond that... A uh, goaltending was Musi Saro stopped 27 of tw- uh, a boot 37 of tw- 39 with a .949 save percentage. Uh, Cam Talbot. Yeah, Cam Talbot stopped 32 of thir- 35 with a .914 save percentage. Three stars of the game are. Uh, uh, it don't. It's not letting me see it either. So you're not. <laughs> you're not alone. We don't know what the three stars. Are. All right. Third star go. of the game was Travis Hamadek. Second star of the game was Rasmus Anderson. And first star of the game was Roman Yossi. Where you see it at? Roman had a really, oh, really good night tonight. Um, the Calgary outshot them for most of the game. Yeah, it was a pretty good game, but uh, like I said last night, I knew it was winnable. So. All right, so your referees were uh, Jake Brink and Kevin Pollock. Uh, linesmen were Keel Merchinson and Devin Berg. Head coach for Nashville is John Hines. Head coach for Calgary is Jeff Ward. Scratches are uh, Kelly Yardcroft, Austin Watson, and Matt Irwin for Nashville. For Calgary, former Admiral Zach Ronaldo, uh, Oliver Kylington, and Mark Jankowski. So did uh, did Trenman play today? Yes. Oh, good. Was the last was the last few games he's been kind of, he was sitting on the scratch for a bit, and I'm just like, okay, what are you, what are you guys doing with him? <laughs> All right. So up next, we have the Milwaukee Admirals versus the Texas Stars. First 2,500 fans will get a 
Abro's Brewers 50-50 shirt. Um, we, we are calling it that on the podcast, but yes. it is literally a 50th anniversary tribute to both teams. Yep. And it is half Abro's goalie mask, half Brewer catcher mask. Catcher wow. mask. Yep. So it is nice. Also, you can catch the Badger Band. They per- are going to perform a that post-game a concert. O'clock, that's a 7 o'clock puck drop yep. tomorrow or later today at the UW-Milwaukee Panther Arena. Yep. I say later today because it is currently 1 a.m. as we record this. Um, the other thing to mention is that it would be, if you guys haven't gotten tickets for this, please do it. Because no. uh, tickets are selling Tickets bad. are sold out. There's a lot of uh, a lot of it's left in the 300 and the uh, 400 levels of the Panther Arena, so yeah. we're starting to see a little bit. Like, if you look on Ticketmaster. It's going to be a packed house tomorrow. I'm looking forward oh, yeah, to it. Oh, yeah, because you got a Badger Band coming. Uh, Badger Band's going to do a fourth period uh, exhibition, which is really nice. Yep. Uh, if you haven't been to it, it's, it's the really equivalent fun. of the uh, fifth quarter that they do at Camp Rick. Um, All of us will be in some form of Badger gear, so if you're so, looking for us, I'll have my Badger uh, white hockey jersey on. Um, I might have my sweater on. I might have my uh, Badger uh, white sweater. I'll probably have a Badger t shirt on underneath my Admiral jersey. That's about it. But uh, the be- best thing to do if you're getting tickets is if you're in the Milwaukee area, call them. Like call them right away. 414-227-0550. Their offices are right next to the Panther Arena in the Miller High the, Life Theater. The basement of the Miller yep. High Life Theater. Yep. Uh, they open at 9 a.m. and they close uh, tomorrow at 4. Yep. Yeah, because obviously it's game day. Actually, they yes, they close tomorrow at 4. The, All right. So the other reason, like, if you want to get tickets to them is that this is part of the Admirals Brewers two-man advantage package mm-hmm. in which you can get a Admirals ticket and a Brewers ticket to two select games, one of them being tonight, uh, or is it for an Admirals game tonight, or, uh, and then you have uh, two Brewers games, I believe, that are left because one is already sold out. Yeah. So if you want those Brewers tickets for an upcoming game, they make a good gift, too. Go for it. And I believe yeah, I that's... already, I, I used, uh, I did the upcharge. Okay. As a season ticket holder. Yeah. Right. So if you're a season ticket holder and you watch us, uh, you could just call the Admiral's office and do the upcharge and they give you a bird ticket. Yep, they do it All right, right uh, at the office. Anyways, uh, now let's break down the Texas Stars. The, the last meeting between these two teams was on December 3rd. Texas won 5-1. to one. Let me get the current ranking of them right now. Uh, Milwaukee is 3-1-0-0 oh, oh against Texas this season, which is way better than what they were last season. What's the league ranking of them? I just want to get that pulled up. All right. While I'm re- they're while ranked in 22nd place in our division. They're ranked fifth. Okay. All right. Uh, the Texas saw uh, leading scorers. You got uh, Jason Robertson, 17 goals, 13 assists. Then we have Emu DeJuice. DeJuice. Uh, DJ USE. Juice. Juice. Yeah, he has four goals, 25 assists. Then we got Joel Esperance, uh, 17 goals, 12 assists. Tanner Kiro. Former uh, Rockford players, right? Yeah, uh, six goals, 18 assists. And then we got Michael Mersh, uh, 13 goals, 10 assists. Uh, right now, Rockford is, or uh, Texas <laughs> is on a two and three out of their last five. Um, they dropped their last game two that they played what, to Rockford five to two. Yeah, they're in the middle yeah. of a two game losing streak. They lost to Rockford and they also lost to San Antonio. It's ouch. It's kind of a battle for the to stay out of the basement right now. Yeah, but Texas, we should beat them. I mean, hey, it's the Admirals. We all know how good they are Wait, this year. You oh. said that on our last video Ooh. and we lost. So shush. <laughs> I also didn't eat my typical French fries at the game uh, either. Oh, <laughs> that's what did it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Right. I don't All right. So the Admirals' last five, they are four and one. <laughs> uh, but they're doesn't t- that losing suck? Yeah, but it, I, you need you need them. You need them every now and then just to get back on track. Yeah. Right. All right. Uh, so your leading scorers for the Admirals are Daniel Carr with 19 goals, 22 assists, with 41 points. He's good at hockey. People remember that. Uh, Cole Schneider with 13 goals and 23 assists for 36 points. Tommy Novak with 8 goals and 22 assists for 30 yeah. points. Uh, we have uh, Alexander Carrier with 4 goals, 26 assists for 30 points. And Reb Pitlick, 16 goals, 13 assists for 29 points. Man, Pitlick's been... Yeah. been well, he, incredible scored the, he scored the lone goal uh, uh, in, on Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so the Admirals this year are 3-1. and one. Uh, They have... Two overtime wins and a shoot, uh, one overtime win and a shootout win. Uh, the Texas Stars goaltenders are 
Jake Ottinger, he has 24 games played, 9 wins, 11 losses, 2 overtime losses, with a 2.73 goals against average and a .908 save percentage. Hey, it's Bow. Hey. <laughs> and, uh, Landon Bow. Yeah, we have Landon Bow. He's also played 24 games. He has one shutout. Oh, by the way, Jake Ottinger has three. Right. Um, so uh, he has a 3.17 goals against average. He has 11 wins, nine losses, and two overtime losses, and a 8.98 save percentage. I think it's fair to know was it to notice their uh, sh- uh, shootout percentages because Texas is usually a team that takes us to the shootout. Yes, they, and the, they're notorious for it. <laughs> um, Ottinger's shootout percentage is uh, is a uh, which is not really that good. Mm-hmm. And then we have Landon Bow who has a point eight zero zero. So, so he's about they 80%. both stick. <laughs> I, I wasn't trying right. to put and it then, that Since in I talked about the Admirals, we're going to talk about the top two goalies in the league. Uh, Connor Ingram, he has 25 games played, one shutout with a 2.00 goals against average, 16 wins, four losses, four overtime losses, and a perfect shootout yeah, record. Seriously. That's, that's another reason why. What's he his was, record in a shootout? He's uh, one. He's 1.0. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and then we have Troy Grostick, who has 25 games played. He has two shutouts with a 2.24 goals against average with 17 wins, five losses, uh, two overtime losses, and a .7, well, 75% on the shootout. Yeah, that's, that's not bad. That's still not bad. Again, that's like typically one. Again, one shootout loss. Yeah. That's what will do it. So, again, like it'd be like both of these, both of these goalies are primed for the shootout no matter what. There's like they're gonna miss a couple, but they're not gonna lose them. There's a, the, the 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 odds of them losing it are pretty slim to none. Yeah. All right. Yeah. What, what's the Admirals' record in a shootout this year? It can't be that good. Uh, we have two shootout losses, so yeah. I don't. They don't have like the shootout records and oh, all that okay. stuff. But again, like again, only two shootout losses. That's that's still pretty good considering where we are in the in the league standings. Yeah. Like, we got, what is it, we got teams that are, like, what, already with, like, Wilkes-Barre is already at, like, five shootout losses already. We're only at two. Uh, so is Hartford, and, like, Iowa has three. Yeah. So, there's that. Like, yeah, there's, like, there are people already climbing at five with shootout losses, and we're still at two. With already climbing into Feb, uh, cl- climbing into midway through February, that's pretty, pretty good. So... Uh, yes, get your Admirals tickets. This will be a good one. We looks like, uh, like I said, it's looking like it's going to be a packed house at UWM Panther Arena. That's going to be a fun game. Uh, pack games at uh, pack games at the Panther Arena are always a blast. Like we're always sitting in two twenty eight, uh, me and Dan. So uh, it's always it's always going to be a blast, especially with UW uh, was a UW Madison's presence in there. It's going to be a fun game, and uh, Badger Band's going to be playing periodically throughout the game itself. They're kind of like the, what is it, they kind of MC the game a little bit. Then uh, they got the fourth period, as we mentioned. They play a little exhibition uh, uh, where they take the ice and uh, the marching band takes the ice. And it's it's all fun. It's really fun. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. I know, I speak for Dan, uh, he probably recommends it just as much as I do. Yeah, I've been to a few Badger Band games. It's fun. And especially because it's a brewer, brewer night too. Like if you're not a Brewers fan, get a cool t-shirt no matter what. Uh... I was going to talk a little bit about the Lab Bros last game against Texas. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> hey. In that, that game for the Wait, Admirals. That, was, uh, Admirals, from what I'm seeing, it looks like they're 3-3 three and three in a shootout. Because they beat the Wolves in a shootout on 15. Then they beat the Wolves in a shootout December 29. And then, where is it? Then they beat Iowa in a shootout. No, they lost November that. November 19. Oh, oh, yeah, they did uh, 6 to 5. Never mind. Then they beat Santa. Yeah, I think they're like 3 and 3 in a shootout. Yeah. So I, it's not, it's usually a crap shoot when it comes to shootouts. Yeah, it's shoot. basically right. a skills competition yeah. at that point. All right, so this game, uh, the Admirals lost. Uh, or we're talking about the the last uh, meeting with the stars. Yes. Yeah. Pretty convincingly, a five-one beatdown. 
Yeah. When was this? Uh, when was this game? Like, I, I think it was back in December. No, was it December? Yeah. Oh, so yeah. So this was after our um, like our amazing November too. <laughs> Uh, oh, that's this time That's the current one. Yeah, December 3rd was the last meeting. Yeah, so Troy Grosnick stopped 15 of 20, which was a bad <laughs> night for him. Yeah. yeah. But I, I, I kind of can't put, when you get beat like that, that's not just your fault. No, nah, it's usually your defense. That seems to be the issue. They tend to, like, leave him high and dry. If the defense, like, it, it, it's it's almost, it's kind of the same in Nashville, too. If the defense falls apart, the goaltender is not going to stand a chance. And it's usually Pekka that suffers. Yeah. Well, Pekka is going to stand up on, like, try and stand up and find a third leg to basically keep him up. Yeah. But if he can't find it, th- these goals are just going to slide by. Not his fault. All right, so let's get into the promotions for at least the upcoming, uh, up to... G- uh, February 26th or so. Yeah, we got a couple of promotions coming up. Um, like we spoke about with the Badger Man and the uh, Brewers giveaway. That's tonight, technically, as we record. Yep, and then we have the 2000s night on February 21st. And I think we're wearing uh, our champions jerseys. Yes, we are. Because that's Darren Hadar's uh, retirement. Or no, championship jerseys are on the 21st, excuse me. Yeah, that's the same night. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. 2000s night championship jerseys, and you can get first 3,500 fans get a Darren Hadar Calder Cup bobblehead. Also, I stick taps to bobble. him again. Let's get him stick taps again. Very rare to see uh, an AHL guy get something in the roster as well, and Darren Hader is no exception. Yeah, um, we can retire his number, and then he'll come back like two years later, uh, like uh, 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 Herkus did. Uh, yeah. Um, but 2000s night, you could uh, dedicate your time to the things that brought you Justin Timberlake, Britney Spears, the iPhone, Duo, Twitter, uh, MySpace, Twitter. John Cena, Facebook. High, uh, high, Facebook didn't come around until 2009, 2010. It was perfected in 2010. It gave us a call. But it was still the early 2000s. Um, and we also have the Britney Spears meltdown. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, we also had, we also had the Tiger Woods divorce from Elon. You know, when she and, attacked him with a golf club? And, nope, that was in 2010. Really? Yes. That yeah. was the same week as the BP oil spill. Yeah. I don't think they'll focus on those parts. Oh, fine. Yeah. That's, that's the decade I dropped out of high school. But um, <laughs> next, uh, next we have a concert night coming up. Right after that, the next night. Yep. So, um, uh, it is Russell Dickerson. Uh, he is our, a country artist. Yep. So we got our. Is this our first or second uh, con- or country concert? First country concert, second concert series. Yep. Third concert because if you cut the badger better. That's true. Yeah, that's true. So um, and then we get into March. The first one in March is the school day game. So you said we only go to February. Yep, so I'm just letting you know that there's yeah, not much the for Baird, promotions. The Baird School game also is a 10:30 a.m. game. So yeah, if you're really so, uh, wanting to, if you're really wanting to go and get some early hockey, by all means. Yes, office. Uh, uh, I probably uh, won't be uh, boss. Uh, 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 I got a hockey puck to the throat. <laughs> yeah, Dan, I'm not going to that one. I'm just giving you a heads up. I don't want to go. Yeah, I'm not going to that one either. <laughs> I mean, I might. Who knows? It's, I mean, I've it's got, early to say. Right I've now. got. I've got already. I already have a price. But I do. Game. I do enjoy talking to like the teachers and teachers assistants. Just say. It's too early. For well, me. I said I like talking to them. That's PG. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I do talk to them, so shut up. All right. So outside of that, um, the uh, oof. Order. I should be nice. No, you should. Florida's Maybe. also playing a game. Uh, Friday oh, yeah, Friday the Everglades. They're playing uh, Greenville, if I remember. Yes, the Greenville Swap Rabbits. With the, you know, we say it all the time. Yeah, it's a little the preview for that game. Why not? Why not? Yeah, Go why for not? it. Yeah. I have no issue with So, I believe they're, if they're playing on home ice, we'll, we'll see in a moment because I forgot to pull it up. After tonight, I will be doing my due diligence to help you guys out when it comes to coming up with previews. Yep, so you know, we've got to give the uh, yeah, got to give the Everblades. Yeah. Some I'm story. having issues with the Everblades website right now. Currently. But the um, first off, I'm gonna be nice to them and look up their promotion schedule. Yeah. yeah. 
Which, we have beach night. They're giving away that really cool looking towel. Yeah, yeah it does look like a nice towel. I wish I was down in Florida to get one. That'd be and cool. that's coming up uh, Saturday. Yep. This Saturday against who? Uh, Greenville. Greenville, yeah. And then uh, they have their celebration of love night on Valentine's Day. They <laughs> played at Atlantic Gladiators down at uh, Hertz Arena, correct? Yep, Hertz yep. Arena. I'm just making sure to get their arena yep, correct. Yep. Uh, hopefully they lay a hurt on a lot of people. Oh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> a hurt thing. Well, we're not. We're saying we're hoping for a victory. All right, this is really cool. They're doing their um, pink, pink in the, the ring. ring. Yeah, uh, uh, they're going to be wearing pink uh, jerseys that night. Uh, that does look like an okay jersey. It's, it's also going to be their nickname jerseys, and they're going to they're going to change the color of the rink to uh, to pink. Well, yeah, like a San, San Antonio. Yeah, they could do that. San Antonio Some of, did, of, did food that too. coloring in the water there, make it pink. Yeah, yeah. they can make it pink. And then, and then they also have Medieval Night presented mm. by the Collier Fairgrounds. Cool. Could That's we do stupid. something like that? Yeah, that would That's be pretty That's against cool. the Norfolk Admirals. Oh, man. Yeah. That would um, be pretty cool. That's a sign, right? <laughs> uh, then we have Canada Night uh, presented by TD Bank. Playing against the Newfoundland Growlers. Okay, this is something else. What's like. the date today? February twenty eighth. Are you giving the dates for all of them? Yeah. Okay. See, that Let me be... make sure because if you want to do a promo, you and then we have the February twenty ninth. They play that? the Jacksonville Iceman, and we have the not so the the first circus, <laughs> which is the was it they call it the not so great the not so greatest show on earth. So it's mascot a night. I'm yeah, assuming. it's character mascots. Okay. So it's kind of like when Roscoe has his birthday. Oh, yeah, yeah. when they have like all the mascots of the local teams. Makes sense. Affiliation. Oh, so this is kind of like their, uh, because this is their inaugural year with the, the Predators. This is their kind of their salute. So they might have Nash down there. Yeah, this is their salute to Nashville. And also, they're doing a cowbell. Ah, and Everblades Predators cowbell. And you know how we love our cowbells in our section, don't you? Yeah. I know. I gotta. I think I might have to call down there and see what I gotta do to get one of those. Yeah, because yeah. that'd be cool if we, if even if we had to buy them, I'd buy one. Like if, again, uh, they said there's a cowbell ticket package for as low as twenty three dollars, and there's also a Saturday tailgate. Yeah, that's something I wish we had an Admirals game. Tailgates. Yeah, but unfortunately, our arena here is not located in a good spot for tailgates. Well, they could do it in the park. But this is in March, yeah. March fourteenth. Uh, they also have their first responders night, March 21st. Yeah, didn't we have ours earlier this season up here? And then April 4th, they have their Blackout and Fan Appreciation Night. I'm assuming that's the final game it's of the final home game season. of the season. Yeah. Um, so that's that's. If they have all... black jerseys, I would um, so buy one. Can we talk about one Admirals thing quick? There Go is ahead. an Admirals promo that's coming up. It's uh, Friday, March 13th, I think. And that's their um, their dog day. Oh. They got a dog day coming up, and they they're calling it uh, Bender's Buddies now. Oh God! So Bender Bender's the was a Bender is the new uh, adopted dog for the Admirals. So uh, ki- kind of doing the same. That's you would be probably looking for is Greenville. Like, they're kind of doing the same thing the Brewers did with Hank the Ballpark pup, which that's interesting. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna take a look at Greenville's roster. So real I will quick. give you guys a preview of this weekend's games because they're playing a back to back. You know the sad part here is, here is I might actually look at a jersey because their jerseys are really nice. Yeah, the Swamp Rabbits. <laughs> I'm, a, awesome. I'm an avid jersey collector, so. You st- do you have your Everblades one yet? No. You gotta get an Everblades one. Yeah, no, yeah I know I gotta get that one first. So. I, I oh my God, their mascot. <laughs> And if the Everblades do sell their black version of the jersey, I would get a black version. Let's see what we got going on. Or oh, you're already on the team one. Yeah, we're trying to get their team stats to pop up. The website's currently giving issues. Okay. Yeah, it's trying to make us watch this tutorial video on the Swamp Rabbits. Why don't you? Hey, look, I see a Orlando Solar Bears versus the Swamp Rabbits fight. Oh, I thought <laughs> it was like a Jerry Big Mighty Ducks jersey. Yeah. Uh, go to the EC. Oh, except first. Now you got it. <laughs> Good God, they keep trying to give me pop-ups. Yeah. You gotta accept those cookies. Don't you want cookies? Oh, <laughs> All right. Darn Green those Girl Scouts. Greenville All, right. All right, so their top... What, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Uh, their top five is... Uh, God, four, top five forwards are Michael Pelk. He has 48 games played, 12 goals, and 28 assists for 40 points. Then we have Patrick Bakovic, Bako, Bakov, 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 man. 
<laughs> anyway. Alright. Um, he has 49 games played, 19 goals, 17 assists for 36 points. Oof. A minus 15. Ouch. Um, then we have Mason Baptista. Okay. Uh, 44 games played, 12 goals, 22 assists. Uh, then we have Nathan Perkovic. Uh, he has uh, 43 games played, 14 goals, 20 assists for 34 points. And then we have Matt uh, Marishnu. Uh, 37 games played, 11 goals, 13 assists for 24 points and, and a minus 5. E. Yeah, I promise we're going to do a better uh, job with the previews moving forward. Yeah. All right. This also, is our first crack at it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we got a big weekend. Yeah, exactly. Um, and then we have... Uh, These are our defensemen. The, I'm only going to do the top four because uh, that looks like all they have. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we have Michael Manfredo. Uh, I'm so glad I didn't call him what I was going to. Okay. Uh, he has 38 cool. games played, 5 goals, 11 assists for... 16 points at a minus 6 with 92 penalty minutes. Woo! He's a fighter. Watch out for them, guys. Well, they got another one right there with him. He has 44 games played. His name is Chad Duchesne. Uh, no relation to Matt. 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 No relation to Matt. Uh, three goals, 12 assists, 15 points, a 0 plus minus, and 61 penalty minutes. Ouch. He's another goon. Well, again, you got two defensemen with high watch pims. Out for them two, on defense. two defensemen with high pims. Watch out, Florida. Um, and then we have Dylan McPherson. He ha- used to play for Grand Rapids for a while. Uh, he has uh, 42 games played, three goals, 11 assists with a plus four. He, what you're saying is that he was a Grand Rapids Rapid? Yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> what's the goal that's, situation looking like? Yes. For I still have one left, and that's uh, Brian Dif- Diffley. Uh, 40 games played, 13 assists, 13 points, and a plus one. All right. Their goalies are Jeremy Helvig. Uh, he has 25 games played, 13 wins, with a 3.31 goals against average and a .910 save percentage. No shutouts. Mm. And then we have Jake. Yeah, or Thought. Yeah, go for it. Thought. Yeah, anyway. Thought. Two games played, zero wins. Two losses with a 4.06 goals against average and a .882 save percentage. So not a lot of confidence in their secondary goalie. Yeah, it's not uh, very confident in their first well, goalie. Either. Considering that uh, Florida's also got Appleby and Johnson. Yeah, Florida's got the Johnson. stacked team. <laughs> like, hey, Florida's got the stacked team. We, well, again, the like up and down the was it the national affiliation. There's a lot well, of good goalies. There's so many good goalies. Which is which is shocking because last year we were depleted at goalie. Yeah. But yeah, uh, like I was saying, we're gonna be doing better job previewing Florida. Oh God! So their online store is called the Hop Shop. Cool. That, see that? That's, oh, that's worthy of a trademark. <laughs> hey, we could look at this uh, later, Dane. We have a show we're currently recording. Yeah, let's get on to the. Let's, the, like let's, look, at our, let's look at our. Let's look at our. We'll take a look at our top five for Florida. We have Blake Winicky with uh, 46 games played, 18 goals, 20 assists, for 38 points and a plus 17. We have nice. Zach Magwood, 41 games played, 16 goals, 21 assists, for 37 points and a plus 21. Thanks, doing good. Uh, we have John McCarron, uh, 42 games played, nine goals, 27 assists, with a plus 12 with 77 penalty minutes. Ooh. Any relation to Michael? Did y'all like box as kids? <laughs> <laughs> Send him on up. <laughs> then we have Justin Auger. He has uh, 44 games played, 19 goals, 13 assists for 32 points. Why is this looking like the Admiral scoring sheets? <laughs> well, again, they're having a, good. They're also having a good year. There was it in the top five of the standings. Don't quote me on that. I believe that's where they are. And then the last player is Michael Hudzenbreaker. 27 games played, 10 goals. 13 assists for 23 points and a plus 10. See, we get solid plus, was it plus numbers? That's that's awesome. All right, and then you have your top four defensemen are Ben Masella. He has 35 games played, two goals, 17 assists for a 19 points and a whopping plus 14. <laughs> and then we have Patrick McCarron. Another, another McCarron. Are they all in one system? 
Yeah, yeah, didn't we just pick up a McCarran? We have, Michael? We, yeah. we, have, we have clones. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he has 45 games played, three goals, 16 assists for 19 points with a plus 20. <laughs> Woo! And then we have Brendan Fortunato, who's a rookie. He has uh, 32 games played, two goals, seven or 15 assists for 17 points. Even plus minus, not really the biggest thing, but he stays out of the penalty box with four penalty minutes. That's pretty good. For a rookie, that's really good. And then we have Cody, Cody Sol, S-O-L? Yeah, Sol. let's go with that. Um, he has 36 games played, five goals, five assists. Five goals, six assists for 11 points, and a plus five with 60 pims. Look at those pims. <laughs> Good Lord. Who's the leader in penalty minutes for them? I think it's Justin Auger. Kyle Nubler. Whoa. Kyle Nubler with a, a whopping 113 pims, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's take a look and see if... Oh, they don't have uh, Atwell. Because Atwell, oh, had... Right. <laughs> Atwell had a lot while he was down there. All right, your goaltenders are uh, Cam Johnson. He has uh, 13 games played, seven wins, four losses, with a 2.39 goals against average. He has one shutout. Uh, then we have Ken Appleby, 34 games played, 20 wins, seven losses, three overtime losses, two sh- shootout losses, two shutouts, and a 2.46 goals against average and a .907 save percentage. Again, these are really good goalies for where they are right now. Like, that's not a, those are two percentages you can't sneeze at, especially at their level. All right. So we were, we are from Milwaukee to Nashville. Don't forget to go over to our YouTube page, hit uh, subscribe. Don't forget to click the bell. Like our videos, too. <laughs> anything? Yeah. Anything? Pit a cower? Give us, com- give us subscribe comments. Subscribe to YouTube. Follow on Facebook. Like give, on Facebook. Give us, give us comments and feedback, Watch too. our videos. Most importantly, watch them. Let us know how we do. Yeah, exactly. Give us comments and feedback. We want to improve this process as much as we can. All righty. So uh, our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can also visit them at... HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com Or call them at... 414-875-85 Or you can visit them... At 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. We are from Milwaukee...